The State Electoral Commission has announced the candidates who will run in the presidential election on December 28th. The candidates are Ivo Yosipovic, the incumbent, HDZ challenger Kolinda Grabar Kitarovic, Milan Kujundic of the Alliance for Croatia, and Ivan Vilibor Sinčić of the GVZ Tenants Rights NGO. The official campaigning period will begin at midnight. The latest demographic data for Croatia show the country's population is in serious decline. Births were lower than ever before over the first nine months of the year. There was a dramatic decline in the number of marriages while the divorce rate was up. Experts warn Croatia desperately needs policies to counter these trends. The Croatian judiciary is planning to try the chairman of the Hungarian oil group MOL, Zsolt Ternadi, in absentia. A pretrial hearing in the case was held at the Zagreb County Court today. He is accused of bribing former Prime Minister Ivo Sanader in exchange for management rights in Croatia's oil and gas company, INA. In sports, Hajduk defeated Split 2-1 on Sunday in domestic first league football, wrapping up the latest round of league play. Dinamo is at the top of the rankings, seven points ahead of Rijeka. Hajduk is in third place, while Zadar is dead last, with only 12 points. The Women's European Handball Championships, hosted by Croatia and Hungary, are underway. Spain defeated Poland 29-22 in Group A on Sunday. Hosts Hungary tied with Russia 29-all. In Group B, Norway bested Romania 27-19, while Denmark beat Ukraine 32-23. Croatia make their debut tonight against Sweden in Varazdin. Ted Ligeti of the U.S. won the Beaver Creek Giant Slalom on Sunday. Frenchman Alexis Pintro was second and Marcel Hirscher of Austria took third place. Croatia's Ivica Kostelic finished 58th and teammate Sebastian Brigovic was 60th. This afternoon's forecast calls for dry and partly sunny weather with variable clouds on the coast. In the interior, moderate to heavy clouds but dry in most regions. There may still be a few lingering showers in Slavonia and snow in the mountains. A moderate to high northeasterly wind on the Adriatic, especially on the foothills of Mount Belebit, where gusts could reach gale force. Wind speeds will pick up further overnight. The day's highs will be between 2 and 7 degrees in the interior and between 10 and 15 degrees on the coast. The three-day forecast calls for cloudy skies on Tuesday, but precipitation is expected only in Slavonia and the mountains where there is a chance of snow and sleet at altitudes above 500 meters. Dry and partly sunny weather will set in on Wednesday. Temperatures will be cooler, especially at night. On the coast, mostly sunny on Tuesday and Wednesday, high northeasterly winds will prevail with gale force gusts in places. Winds will begin to fall gradually starting on Wednesday. Expect brisk morning temperatures.